Hey y'all, welcome to or welcome back to Dave's Tech Way, whichever way the situation may be. In today's video, well, I'm going to be showing you how to flash your BIOS on your motherboard. I'm going to be using the Gigabyte B450M DS3H to be showing you this. But it's going to, it's pretty well the same concept on any motherboard if it's Asus, Azeroc, MSI, BioStore, whichever motherboard you got, it's pretty well the same concept. There is a small chance that you may brick your motherboard while doing this. So I do not hold no responsibility if you mess your system up. But the only thing you're going to really need for this job is a small USB flash drive and then the computer itself with an internet connection. I'll be right back and I'll show you how to get that BIOS up to date. Pre-order the desktop. If you need to know what BIOS version you're running, you can go into the BIOS and find that there. Me, I run this little program called CB, CPU-Z. It tells you about all the specs that's in your system. It tells you your CPU, your motherboard, your graphics, the whole nine yards. It tells you everything about your system. You go over here to the main board. You go down here to the BIOS. You get it's uh, version F4. That's the one we're running. Okay, with that being done, we go into Google. Of course, I've already looked this up a few times, so it should pop up here. All right, there we go. You want to make sure you go to the manufacturer's website of the motherboard. I wouldn't get these from any place else besides the website of the motherboard manufacturer. There we go. And that's why I put in the model number because it takes you straight to the page for your motherboard. Go under, under support. Okay, down here, you scroll down. Here's where you get all your chip, uh, all your, this is where you get all your drivers for your motherboard on your new build. Underneath of that, right here, it says BIOSes. There's been six BIOSes to this motherboard. You pull up CPU-Z, we see a war on F4. Okay, which was put out 125 of 2019. Uh, the newest one is F31. And see, and that's what I was saying, guys. They're very small files. It's 9.85 megabits. They're very small files. You don't need a big zip drive to do this with. The uh, the release date was 415 of 2019. And hey, over here it gives you a little bit of a breakdown of what it actually can, what it, what all it fixes within the BIOS. Underneath the downloads under uh, F31 here, you need. If you're in Asia, China, America, or European, I'm in America, so we're going to download this one. We're going to hit save. Come down here and open. It needs to be extracted, so we're going to hit extract all. Whenever you get to this point, you get ready to extract them all, you hit the extract all button. This window here will pop up. You go to browse. You go down to your flash drive, whichever, whatever letter windows put your uh, flash drive on. And you hit select, then you hit extract. And it'll extract all your files. Uh, looks like this one's only got two files to it. And that's all you need. Close these out, you close out this. Now to get into your BIOS, when your computer first starts up, you just tap the delete key until, it, until you get into the BIOS. You guys, now since we're in the BIOS, if you need to know what version, your BIOS is running, you go into system. It tells you model of your motherboard right underneath of it. It tells you your BIOS version, which is F4. It even tells you the day of the BIOS, 125 of 19. All right, now this here's where it's going to differ depending on the motherboard you have. You go down here and pull up this little window down here on the Gigabyte boards anyways. You got QFlash. Some of them have this in different areas. You'll just have to search around in your BIOS a little bit until you find it. It's either called QFlash or M flash. Click, click on Q flash. Okay, it brings up this window here. It says uh, save BIOS or update BIOS. We want to update it. Okay, right here it, it, it's already recognized the only file that it can be updated to. And it says point F31. That way you know you got the right one. You click on that. Make sure it shows up down here. Then you click on your next arrow over here. 
And once this sear screen pops up, you get down here and you push, press to start. And when it does this, you want to make sure you do not lose power to the computer. Make sure you do not turn it off. Make sure you don't have a power outage. I've got mine plugged into PSU. Uh, when every, time, every time I do these, I make sure it's plugged into PSU. That way, even if my power company decides that a line goes down or a line uh, breaks someplace to work it on the power line, I do not lose power because if you do, you'll brick your motherboard, which I actually bricked one of these motherboards. That's why this one's got such an old BIOS on it, which I'll get into that on the end of the video here. But you just sit back and let it do its thing. And once this gets done, it will restart, possibly multiple times. You just let it restart, let it continue its process until it's finished. You do not touch the computer at this point. Just sit back and watch it. Go watch your video or something, but not on your computer. Now since we're back here in the desktop and it's rebooted, we're going to open up CPU-Z. I'm going to hit yes. We're going to give it a second here. I uh, go to the main board, and now we are on version F31. So it did work. It updated the BIOS for us, just like it should have. Let me get reset up here, and I'll be right back with my final thoughts on this. All right, guys, and that's the way you get your BIOS up to date. Like I said, this works for any type of motherboard, any manufacturer motherboard. You just have to go to the little website, find the motherboard that you particularly got, make sure it's the right BIOS. When you get into the flashing utility of the motherboard, it will automatically detect the detect the file that you need. So it's pretty hard to mess it up. And if it ain't the right file, it won't even detect it as being a file. And also, when you do this, I recommend unplugging all your extras. If you got a webcam plugged in, if you got a printer plugged in, if you got an extra hard drive plugged in. If you got, you know, anything anything plugged into the computer, I'd recommend only having your keyboard, your mouse, your monitor, and your internet plugged in when you do this. Um, just just for safety's sake, and, you know, it, it's just a lot easier on the system to do so. That's pretty, well, that's pretty well the way you get your BIOS up to date. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Give me a thumbs down if you disliked it. There's that comment section below. Let me know what you think. If you really liked what you saw here today, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you're notified next time I put out a video. Until next time, you have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video.